بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ مارننگ ٹو مائی اسٹوڈینٹس آئی ہوپ یو وڈ ہیو بین ڈوئنگ ویل ٹل ناؤ ان دا لاسٹ لیکچر وی ور ڈوئنگ ایگزامینیشن پریکٹس کویشچن اینڈ وی آر کنٹینوئنگ وتھ دس وی آر کنٹینوئنگ وتھ دس ایون ٹوڈے سو وی ول بی اسٹارٹنگ فرام کویشچن نمبر سکس ٹوڈے question number six so my dear students it is very easy question now we have to find the value of this thing while x is given and that is one now we will manipulate this x the value of x in each of the brackets where x is written so one it means that we'll write one in place of x one plus five minus and again 1 minus 5 okay now it will become 6 minus minus 4 the negative term is greater so we have to write minus sign so it will become 6 now this is minus, this is minus and minus minus when multiplied gives us plus. So it becomes plus 4. I think we don't have to write the brackets now. So 6 plus 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. Part B. What does part B says x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0. So when x is equal to 0, nothing doing again. Just put 0 instead of 1. Now what we have to do is 0 plus 5 again minus 0 minus 5. So plus 5 and plus 5. So it will become plus 5 plus 5 minus and minus goes plus. It is again 10. Very strange. Part C. X is equal to 5. So X is equal to 5. Now x is equal to 5, I am going to do this step right over here, here, okay. Okay, now you see when x is equal to 5, 5 plus 5 and 5 minus 5, 5 plus 5 and 5 minus 5 now what does it give it to me it will give five plus five is ten and plus and zero now it will become zero five minus five is zero so minus zero it will become minus zero so ten minus zero is ten again so all the three answers, all the three answers and the previous one was also 10. Now dear students, the question has already been written for you and that is, the question is already written for you. Question number 7, you can read it. Simplify and write the answer with positive indices only. And the first part is A, X5, X raised to index 5 and multiply the sign with now x raised to minus 2. So the law of indices and that is the first law when the bases are same with different indices what we have to do is we just add the indices together x5 plus minus 2. 
okay now it will become x5 minus 2 so x is 3 and this is positive so this was required that we have to bring the whole thing into positive positive index so we have brought it into the positive index part b Add x square and which is divided by 2x4. Now, dear students, first of all, what we will have to do that we will cancel what is being cancelled over here 4. Now, what I told you that see which one uh, which power or which index is greater now you see that this index is greater than this so we'll bring what will you do we'll bring from denominator to denominator we'll go in this direction today because this is greater and we have to find the positive indices only positive indices only we would have done it from here to here but since we have to find the positive indices so we bring this uh, numerator to denominator to bring the positive indices so what will we have to do simply we can cut this with two or if you want to go in detail or you want to apply the law it will become now this is 4 now this is 4 this is already 4 and what I told you to bring this power into denominator so it will become x4 multiplied by x minus 2 so it will become 4 and we'll add the powers two powers together x4 plus minus 2 same like this it will become 4 x4 four minus 2 and 4 x2 same 4 x square 4 x square you can either do it in one step or you can do all the steps now this step is optional this step is optional you can go direct to this last part of uh, question number seven and that is 2x minus 2 part c 2x minus 2 raised to power minus 3. It is very easy since we have to bring the negative indices only. So we have to bring the positive indices only. So what we, we, have, we have to do is we will just take the whole thing into denominator or we will reciprocate it. Now this will become 2x minus 2 raised to power 3. You have to simplify it as, as well. Now the first two parts were, were not worth simplification. Just one cancelling effect was there. Now we have to simplify this whole bracket now this is what is it is written i think we have not studied as yet that this is a formula of a plus minus b b whole q a plus minus it can either be positive or negative b raised to power q now what is it a cube 
Now, if it is plus, it will be plus 3a square b. Again, if it is plus, it will be 3ab square and positive b cube. You see that a is descending and b is ascending. Here b is 1, that means b raised to power is 1, uh, b raised to power here b is, if I write here b, it will be like this a cube b 0. Now, what I told you about is a 0, raised to power 0 is 1. So, 1 is not written over here. So, a cube, now here b is 1, b is 2, b is 3. A is a, b is ascending. Whereas, a is descending, you see that a is 3, a is 2, a is 1 and A is, here A is like this. Now when A is raised to power 0, it means A is 1. So we don't have to write 1 over here. And now, what if the minus is over here? Like in our question. So it is very easy if you follow this these steps and this sequence, if you follow this sequence, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1 and 1, 2 and 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, B, 0 over here and a0 over here. Now if you have written the whole thing in this format, what if minus is over here? Now remember that if this is the format, then first is positive, second is negative, third is positive and the last is negative. Now there are two negative signs are appearing when that is negative over here. Minus sign is over here. Minus sign with second term, minus sign with the last. So if I open this one, what it will become? It will become, I'll do it over here, 1 divided by. Now a cube, now we have 2x, 2 raised to power 3 is 8 cube, okay, minus is coming up, so we have to write minus sign over here, 3a square b, now 3a square, a is 2, 2, 2 times 4, and 3 times 12. If I write it in detail, it will become like this. And B and B is uh, 2 again. Now it will become 24 instead of. Okay, it is 24. I'll show you the detail. Now the next next is. Positive, positive, 3, 3a, 3a, 3a means 6x, 6x and b square. Now b square is 4 over here, 6 multiplied, uh, 4 is 24. Again, we are coming with 24 and A is single, so X will be single 
and minus again minus 2 2 times 4 4 2 times 8 so what is the detail of this 24 in this 24 i should have done it uh, this step prior to this step but anyhow for showing you the detail i am doing this step again now this you see that it will come like this follow this okay and it is going to be like this now since it is minus we have to write the minus minus 3 write a 3 over here a square now what is a 2x here and what is b 2 okay now positive sign will appear plus 3 what is a 2x what is b b square it will become to the whole square and last minus sign will appear and 2 raised to power 3 so if you just solve this 2 cube is 8 and 8 cube here it is square over here so it will become 4x square 4x square multiplied by 6 is 24x square. Now this is square again over here. 4, 4 multiplied by 2, 8, 8 multiplied by 3, 24, x and minus 8. So you can do this step prior to this step. This step prior to this step to understand it or otherwise if you are command in a commanding position you can do it direct like this now question number eight if x is not equal to zero y is not equal to zero then simplify what we have to simplify is uh, 3x plus 3 x raised to power half or index half multiplied by 5 raised to power half okay very easy three multi you can always multiply coefficient with coefficient coefficient with uh, uh, variable coefficient with constant okay now it is very easy coefficient with coefficient 15 and when you will multiply half plus half is 1 you can do it like this x half plus half half but now this is LCM 1 plus 1 that is equal to x 2 divided by 2 that is equal to 1 as I told you half cup plus half cup Will become one or like this now this is 15x b b part is 81 81 by 6 which is raised to power gain half now what does it this half mean here we don't have to worry about because the half was on on x only you see that why we don't worry over here, uh, why we didn't worry over here that the half was on x's only but here half is 
also being applied on 81. So I have told you that 81 by 6 does mean like this. When half is written, that means it is the square root and when half is there, we don't write 2 over here. Unless and until it's specified, uh, that means if it was 1 by 3, so would, we would have write, uh, written 3 over here. Like this, if it was like this, whatsoever was this here, if it was like this, we would have write, uh, written it like this. Since it is 2, we don't have to write over here. It is understood when it is empty, when this is vacant, it means it is 1 by 2. Now, we have to find the square root, the square root of 81. The square root of 81 will become with the factors. 2, we cannot do it with 2, 3, okay. 3, 2 times, 3, 7 times, 3, 9 times, 3, 3 times and 3, 1 time. Since it is square root, so we have to bring 2, 2 pairs, 1, 2, 3, 3. Now 3 and 3 multiplied is equal to 6, uh, 3, 3 times 9. So it will become 9 the square root of 81 is 9 and what about this 6 now since we have solved 81 so this half is also being applied on 6 now it will become You see that it will become like this. Simply cancel this by Q. It will be cancelled with this because when there is a power with the power, so we just multiply them. We just multiply them. So it will become 6 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the answer is 9y cube. Part C. Again, some more practice of x cube raised to power 1 by 3. Now you have come. But I now this is 1 by 3. Now it does mean, now, now you can write 3 over here. Now it will become 64x cube. Now we have to find the factors of 64. 2 times 3 to 22 32 16 8 4 I don't think it is visible to you from here it is not visible to you. I have seen in the camera. So I do it for you. If it is not visible. So it is very easy again. 1, 2, 3. Since we have to find the cube root. So we'll make the pair of threes. One, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, three, two. So one, two is over here, one, two is over here. So it will become two multiplied two is four. 
so it will become 4 for the 64 only and what about x cube same what we did with this so it will become x cube raised to whole power 3 and this power will cancel in so it will become 4x.